Osho 30 Construction Final Exam Question and Answer Question If there are defects found during the inspection of personal full protection equipment, or if the equipment has been used in an arrest, it must be A. Fixed on the spot and tested by twisting the fabric or rope and looking for stress B. Turned in at the end of the shift C. Removed immediately from service D. None of the above. Answer. C. Removed immediately from service. Question. How can you prevent a fall from a ladder? A. Choose the right ladder for the job. B. Tie the top and bottom of the ladder to fixed points when necessary. C. Don't carry tools or other materials in hand while climbing the ladder. D. All the above. Answer. D. All the above. Question. More than 33% of fatalities in construction are from a combination of falls from I. Slips and slides. B. Tripping over electrical wires and electrical installations. C. Roofs. D. None of the above. Answer. C. Roofs. Question. Preventing fall hazards is a critical part of the construction planning process. Controls to mitigate fall hazards include installing which of the following? A. Guardrails B. Walls C. Protective covers D. Parapets E. All of the above Answer E. All of the above Question. Employees must not work on scaffold surfaces until a. It is determined to have strength and structural integrity to support intended loads. B. Oshaw has visited the site and inspected the scaffold. C. The surface is completely dry. D. All of the above. Answer. A. It is determined to have strength and structural integrity to support intended loads. Question. From your choices below. What would you consider to be a major fall hazard in construction? A. Roof edges and floor openings. B. Steel erection. C. Improper scaffold construction. D. Unsafe use of portable ladders. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above. Question. OSHA requires full protection when working near the edge of a trench or excavation that is, dash, or more in depth. A. 4 feet. B. 6 feet. C. 10 feet. D. 20 feet. E. None of the above. Answer. B. 6 feet. Question. Climbing on the cross braces of scaffolds is allowed. A. During the assembly of the scaffold. B. When conditions are dry and the climbing can be done safely. C. Never. D. When authorized by the supervisor. Answer. C. Never. Question. Horizontal lifelines shall be designed, installed, and used under the supervision of A. Dash, as part of a complete personal fall arrest system, which maintains a safety factor of at least 2. A. Registered engineer. B. Osho expert. C. Qualified person. D. Any of the above. Answer. C. Qualified person. Question. When using scaffolds, make sure there is which of the following? I. Safe and compliant access and egress. B. Full planking. C. Stable footing. D. Guard railing. E. All of the above. Answer. E. All of the above. Question. D. Rings and snap hooks must have a minimum tensile strength of A. 500 pounds. B. 1,500 pounds. C. 5,000 pounds. D. 25,000 pounds. Answer. C. 5,000 pounds. Question. NIOSH is an acronym for which of the following? A. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration. B. 
the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. C. The National Insurance of Offices and Services. D. None of the above. Answer. B. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Question. Osho's focus for training topics include caught in or, between, struck by, electrocution and, dash. A. Refinery incidents. B. Falls. C. Nutrition in the workplace. D. None of the above. Answer. B. Falls. Question. A hazard is any situation or condition that has the potential to cause harm to which of the following? A. Life. B. Health. C. Property. D. Environment. E. All of the above. Answer. E. All of the above. Question. Examples of falls that have resulted in deaths on the job site include A. Falls to the ground or lower levels. B. Falls through existing floor or roof openings. C. Falls through the floor or roof surface. D. Falls on the same level. E. All of the above. Answer. E. All of the above. Question. A hazard is a situation or condition that has the potential to cause harm to which of the following? A. Life. B. Health. C. Property. D. Environment. E. All of the above. Answer. E. All of the above. Question. A theoretical or what if hazard is A. Dash. A hazard that is not obvious. B. Hazard that may take an event or series of events to occur. C. Highly unlikely event and not to be considered. D. Both A and B. Answer. D. Both A and B. Question. Fall hazards become fall incidents when people, dash. A. Forget gravity is always working. B. Do not protect themselves from fall hazards. C. Become complacent and think they can catch themselves. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Question. In the slide entitled How long does it take a person to fall? The example noted that a person could fall 64 feet in approximately how many seconds? A one-third second. B. Two seconds. C. Ten seconds. D. None of the above. Answer. B. Two seconds. Question. A fall hazard is anything that could cause you to, dash, and that has the potential to result in a fall. A. Lose your balance. B. Lose bodily support. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. C. Both A and B. Question. Fed OSHA requires fall protection on construct iron sites be used at. A 4 feet. B. 5 feet. C. 6 feet. D. 7 feet. Answer. C. 6 feet. Question. OSHA's focus for training topics include caught in or between, struck by electrocution, and A. Motor vehicle accidents. B. Refinery incidents. C. Falls. D. Nutrition in the workplace. Answer. C. Falls. Question. Which of the following is an OSHA requirement, regardless of the fall distance? A. Fall protection must be provided when working over dangerous equipment or machinery. B. Fall protection is optional only when safety experts are present at the job. C. None of the above are correct. D. Both A and B are correct. Answer. A. Full protection must be provided when working over dangerous equipment or machinery. Question. Studies have shown that complacency, a hazardous behavior, may be caused by which of the following? A. Repetition of work. B. Unsafe facts and conditions going uncorrected. C. Management not evaluating and enforcing safe work procedures. D. All the above. 
Answer. D. All the above. Question. Which of the following can be used to prevent complacency from happening to you or to those around you? A. Hazard recognition planning before the start of a task. B. Safety audits of work procedures. C. Looking out for your fellow workers. D. Taking ownership of your personal safety. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above. Question. According to statistics year after year, which of the following would be considered a significant fall hazard in construction? A. Roof edges and floor openings. B. Steel erection. C. Improper scaffold construction. D. Unsafe use of portable ladders. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above. Question. Which of the following is a basic element of a roof fall protection program? A. Limiting worker access to the roof and its leading edges. B. Offshore certification. C. Training employees who access routes on the recognition, evaluation, and control of fall hazards. D. Both A and C. Answer. D. Both A and C. Question. The N dash to only authorized is used in construction to restrict access to a roof to only authorized employees. A. Security guard. B. Interlocked electronic gate. C. Roof permit. D. Certified offshore safety expert. Answer. C. Roof permit. Question. Dash. Must be safely cleared from a scaffold as soon as possible to eliminate slippery conditions. A. Finely sanded scaffold planks. B. Paint spray mist. C. Ice and snow. D. Toe boards. Answer. C. Ice and snow. Question. Scaffold failures are often caused by which of the following? A. Unsafe erection and excess weight. B. Lack of supervision, inspection. C. Incomplete, no handrails slash midrails slash tow boards. D. Use of incompatible parts. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above. Question. According to Osho, a fall hazard exists whenever workers who load and unload trucks must climb onto trailers, materials, or equipment and their feet are above, dash, from the lower level or ground. A. 2 feet. B. 4 feet. C. 6 feet. D. 10 feet. Answer. C. 6 feet. Question. Which of the following is a frequently cited or sure violation of safe ladder use? A. Ladder not extended 3 feet above landing. B. No worker training. C. Failure to secure ladder against movement. D. Improper use of step ladder top step. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above. Question. You are at a higher risk for falling if your portable ladder is A. Made of fiberglass. B. New. C. Not inspected for defects or safely positioned each time you use it. D. All the above. Answer. C. Not inspected for defects or safely positioned each time you use it. Question. OSHA requires full protection when working near the edge of a trench or an excavation that is, dash, or more in depth. A. 4 feet. B. 6 feet. C. 20 feet. D. Actually, full protection is always required, regardless of the depth. Answer. B. 6 feet. Question. Three major components of a personal fall arrest system, anchor and the anchorage connector, full body harness, and, dash. A. Optional body belt. B. Connecting device. For example, lanyard or a retractable lifeline, with snap hooks. C. Anti-jerk cord. D. Full restraint bracket. Answer. 
USB connecting device, for example, lanyard or a retractable lifeline, with snap hooks. Question. Which of the following is an engineering control that is installed to mitigate fall hazards? A. Guardrails. B. Walls. C. Protective covers. D. Parapets. E. All the above. Answer. E. All the above. Question. Fall restraint systems must meet which of the following criteria? A. Prevent the user from reaching areas where free fall could occur. B. Anchorage strength of a minimum of 3,000 pounds. C. Designed by qualified person for full protection. D. All the above. Answer. D. All the above. Question. Personal fall arrest snap hooks must be locking and B. A. Forged copper. B. Stamp tosh or approved. C. Designed to prevent opening and slipping off the connector. D. All the above. Answer. C. Designed to prevent opening and slipping off the connector. Question. If there are defects found during the inspection of personal full protection equipment or if the equipment has been used in an arrest, it must be, dash, a fixed on the spot and tested by twisting the fabric or rope and looking for stress, b turned in at the end of the shift, c removed immediately from service, d none of the above. Answer. c removed immediately from service.